So today we're going to do the Bluetooth pairing test of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z3. So we're going to test it with the Android device and the iOS device. So we're going to pair it with both of them. We're going to install the software also. We're going to see how the software works on both uh, operating systems and we're going to see how the dual pairing actually works so there will be a live demo we'll be seeing if it actually works on both of them together or it uh, jumps between them and i mean there are different ones we'll talk about it in the video so let's go ahead start the test and talk more about it Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the video. Now let's see how to actually put the earbud in pairing mode first. So uh, when you actually buy it, buy it new at that time, as soon as you remove this, remove the earbuds, uh, they actually magnetically connected. You can remove that and it will automatically go into pairing mode. Now, uh, I've used it with a few different devices, so it won't connect with them right now. I will have to keep the plus and minus button pressed together like that and it is in pairing mode now all i have to do is if i have an android device i can just open it up it will automatically connect uh, because it has fast pairing it will automatically connect i don't want to do that i will try using the software itself so i'll go into the hey melody software and try to connect it will automatically find it i'll go ahead and connect it it'll ask uh, for pairing permission I'll hit pair and it's done so that's how easy it is to pair it now I'll just save it okay now uh, it actually gives you a guide tells you how to actually use it we'll actually see the uh, settings inside now this is the software the hey melody software it actually looks like this so uh, it looks the same the name is the same for both Android and iOS so we'll open that up you'll see the battery life over there You'll have one plus 3D audio. If you want spatial audio, 3D audio, if you want that, go ahead, switch it on. Um, and then you have the equalizer option. So you have four equalizer, the balanced, uh, serenade, bass, and bold. And then you have extra bass. So bass wave, if you put that on, it'll boost your bass even more. So you can keep it at weak or strong. That's it. You don't get a custom equalizer. You don't get any of those fancy options where uh, it actually uh, customizes the sound for you uh, it doesn't have white noise it doesn't have all those features uh, that's available on the buds pros and even the z2 anc has much more feature that has anc and noise cancelling on off all those options and there are more stuff in that uh, so if you want to see how the z2 anc works i have done a pairing test on that uh, i'll put the link below for that too so that's it then you have your firmware update you can go ahead and check your firmware and update that so that's it that's all that you get with this this is a basic uh, oneplus neckband it does not have features where you can control the audio uh, much so that's it now let's uh, okay let's see the huh, sorry let's see the uh, earbud control first so the middle button does play pause you double press it it goes to next track if you triple press it it goes to the previous track and if you uh, keep it pressed then it will open up voice assistant now uh, you can answer and decline calls with the middle button the volume up and volume down just does volume up volume down uh, that is the controls that's it now let's go ahead connect it with the ios device now same thing i want to put it in pairing mode keep the plus and minus volume uh, sorry the, keep the volume up volume down button pressed and this will put it in pairing mode so that's it so that slow blinking white light is pairing mode now we'll go into the iphone and we'll have to connect it with the bluetooth setting we'll have to go into bluetooth and we have to scan uh, now you see it is available here now let me just show you the software doesn't work if you try to connect it directly from the software uh, i'll try to connect it like uh, from the android it worked now here if i go ahead and press it connect it'll say pair okay it paired good the first time i did it it did not pair i have to go through the bluetooth settings 
and then pair it and then when I opened the software uh, it was available so I don't know must have been a glitch but it works now so the same process over there and here you get the same options you have get the battery life you have the 3d sound and you have the same four equalizer and base wave uh, for extra bass that's it and you can upgrade the firmware and the button settings are shown here that's all so this is basic setting so you cannot actually um, do much here you cannot um, have any custom equalizer you don't have option of uh, uh, those white noise and stuff um, so all those options are in the buds pro the more expensive ones uh, you have more options on the Z2 ANC where you have uh, option of changing the uh, noise control. You can have active noise cancelling, you can have ambient sound. All of that is in Z2 ANC, not in this. So when the ANC version of the Z3 comes out, uh, you will have all those, uh, all those options in that. So anyways, now let's try connecting it to the Android device again. So I'll go into the software it's available here i'll just hit connect now i don't need to go here i can just directly go into the settings and over here i can uh, go ahead and hit the connect over here too so it's going to be the same thing i hit connect here it will say pair and it will disconnect from here and then connect over here so it's already done you see it's shown up over here so it's uh, it doesn't have dual pairing. You see there is no dual pairing option here. Uh, you cannot even switch on switch off. So there are some OnePlus devices where you get that option. Here you don't have that option. So this is not a dual pairing device. Um, it will disconnect from one and then go to the other one. So if you get a call now on this phone, it will not come up here. So there are other OnePlus devices which do support one uh, dual pairing. Here that's not there. So this is a basic oneplus neckband um, but the price for a basic oneplus neckband is too much here it's 1699 the anc versions uh, are under 2000 so so this is 1700 rupees the anc version the z2 anc um, may be somewhere around 1900 or 1499 depending on where you're buying it from right now so Similarly priced, so I would suggest go for the Z2 ANC right now. I won't suggest going for this because this is not value for money according to me. So I have the Z2 ANC. I've done the Bluetooth pairing test. You can go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link below. Uh, that has much more option. You can go ahead, see that and then compare both of them. Uh, now, my personal opinion is to wait for the Z3 ANC and buy that if you want the newer one. If not, go for the Z2 ANC. The Z3 uh, is a little expensive for the features that you get. Now, sound quality, the Z2 ANC is better because of uh, all the sound control, the noise, con uh, the uh, equalizer and everything. Uh, this one is just a basic one. It sounds okay. There's nothing wrong with it, uh, but it's not as good as the Z2 ANC. So it, it's not an upgrade for me. It's basically a downgrade and it's too expensive. So that's it. Uh, this was just a pairing test, so I will not do a review here. Uh, but if you have any further queries, you can go ahead, contact me. My information is available in the description and at the end of the video. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.